fund. Back to you. Timzi, many thanks for joining us. Now, shares of online travel company Easy Trip Planner surged in early trade after the company announced a stock split in the ratio of 1 is to 2. The company also announced bonus of three shares for every one share held. Here's the big story. The number of children's deaths linked to allegedly contaminated cough syrups made by India's maiden farmer has now risen to 69. Meanwhile, a report by The Wire says that the World Health Organization, in a statement to The Wire, said that it did not certify maiden farmer's plant as claimed on the company's website. The farmer exporter's body has suspended the company. Abhimanyu Sharma reports from maiden farmer's offices in Delhi, which were a deserted look. This is the Delhi office of the pharma company Made in Pharmaceuticals, which has come under scanner after 66 children died in Gambia after consuming cough syrups which were produced by the company. While the company has expressed shock over the incident, it has claimed that it has been working since the past three decades as per the protocols laid down by the central and Haryana state regulator and is cooperating with all the relevant authorities. Pharma exporter's body, Pharmexil, has also suspended Made in Pharmaceuticals, which has been warned of illegal practices by the state governments of Gujarat and Kerala in the past, as its medicines had failed to meet the standard quality tests. When we visited Made in Pharmaceuticals office in Delhi, the company officials said that no one from the senior management was present, and they pointed to the notices which were pasted outside their office. One was a medical product alert against substandard pediatric medicines by the WHO, while the second was an order by the Medicines Control Agency in Gambia to suspend and recall all products of Maiden Pharmaceuticals, while the company's website had claimed that one of its plants was certified by the World Health Organization. WHO had told the wire that it had not certified or inspected any of the plants of made in pharmaceuticals. Our colleague Abhimanyu Sharma, they're reporting from outside Maiden Pharma's office in Delhi. Now, Maiden Pharma has a controversial track record. Reports quoting the World Health Organization indicate that the UN agency had never certified Maiden Pharma's plant. Maiden Pharma was one of the 46 Indian companies blacklisted by Vietnam in 2013. Ekta Batra has more on the repeat offenses. As per a report by The Wire, the World Health Organization has said it never certified Made in Pharma's plants. Also, the report indicates that the contaminants of the drug by Made in Pharma were so poisonous as per the WHO that it resulted in an 85% fatality rate. And most of the children who were impacted by the four cough and cold syrups produced by Made in Pharma and exported to Gambia were below two years of age. This issue continues to raise concerns and questions. For example, while the company did not have a license to sell these four cough and cold drugs in India, were there enough red flags to have averted this incident? For example, the company which started operations as per its website in 1990 was one of the 46 Indian companies blacklisted by Vietnam in 2013. The company had six of its drugs such as diabetes medicine metformin, vitamin D and calcium tablets and blood thinner aspirin that have been reported as substandard since 2015 by drug regulators from Kerala and Gujarat. Many of these cases of substandard drugs were reported in the past few months. So how did their lax manufacturing go unnoticed by authorities? Legal experts point to a couple of issues. One is of too many regulators. While any new drug in the country gets approved by the central authority, the Drug Controller General of India or the DCGI, the older drugs, which are anything more than four years, are governed by state regulators. Also, a regulator of one state cannot inspect the facility of a pharma company in another state unless the regulator of that state is on board. And many states have different licensing procedures and approval processes. Hence, there is a lack of central coordination or authority which can take a collective call on substandard production with companies then getting away with lax processes. Experts point out that for India, there is an urgent need to have a common regulatory authority, possibly on the same lines as the US drug regulator. One needs to at least centralize the licensing process for manufacturing facilities and have transparent processes as well. And while creating a centralized authority might come with its own challenges. Lastly, the industry watchers, experts say it is time to bridge the gap 
when it comes to India's pharma industry. While on one hand, we are exporting over $20 billion of pharma drugs globally, with the largest geography of US FDA-compliant plants outside of the US, on the other hand, we have seen five cases of DEG poisoning alone, with the latest case in India just two years ago in 2020.